Uh, the last time this gentleman was with us, we were out in California, and he broke it up. Uh, he's a relatively new comedian and uh, most inventive, and I think extremely funny. Would you welcome, please, Richard Pryor. Thank you, uh, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm happy to be in show business, and uh, I am. I, I started in show business in 1946. Uh, maybe some of you read about it. Uh, I, was in a, I was in a play called Rumpelstiltskin. Uh, I, I, I was the win. <laughs> I, I, I run across stage, you know, I had a little uniform, run across stage, going, <laughs> did a little encore. <laughs> it was, uh, well, it was exciting. I, I'd like to do it for you, uh, uh, since you weren't there, and uh, maybe, maybe you might remember. Uh, this, uh, I, I was uh, the wind, like I said before, and it was exciting, you know, because the parents came and, uh, and I never saw them before. And uh, <laughs> it was lovely, you know, because they said, where are your parents? And I, I waved at them. And uh, we had, uh, let me see, like a guy, Mr. Conrad was the principal of the school. He was in charge. Nobody liked him because uh, he wouldn't let you go to a little boy's room, uh, you know, pretend like he didn't see you, you know, right? You know what I mean? When you raise your hand, they, they nut on you. <laughs> you know, right? And you can hear your friends. Betty, don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and he was excited, you know, cause it was like show business for him, right? To introduce all the kiddies. And he came out and uh, he gave, uh, you know, the kind of speeches they give, you know. Well, uh, good evening, parents, and uh, glad you came to Irving School for this evening's activities. And uh, we've been working with the little kiddies a couple of weeks, preparing them for this evening's festivities. And, uh, you're really going to enjoy them. Uh, I worked with them two weeks. I couldn't work with them three. I had to go to Cleveland for the teachers' convention. However, had I been here, I would have worked with them the complete three weeks. But Miss Williams did work with them the one week, and uh, I would have worked with them the complete three, but I wasn't here. Anyway, uh, I'm going to introduce the little kitties to you from left to right, and you'll probably recognize them. They're yours. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, little kitties will come right out here and introduce themselves to you, and I uh, hope you enjoy the show. Come on, little kitties. Harvey Frunk. <laughs> Mary Sue Ellen Smith. <laughs> Billy Joe Benson. Harvey <laughs> 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 Ellen. My lady fair, I will go to the woods all by myself. I, w I will bring back the wicked man. Come on, man. <laughs> Woe is me, I cannot turn the storm into gold. What shall I do? Mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the fort, we find a wicked man, rump us, ear skin. <laughs> my name is Rump us, ear skin, and I'm a meanie. <laughs> My name is Ralph Steskin and I'm a mini. <laughs> My name is Ralph Steskin and I'm a mini. My name is Ralph Steskin. My name is Ralph. Hmm? Oh. oh, 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 I hear the sound of horses' hoots. <laughs> I will hide behind a rock or a tree. Whoa, hoss of hoops, whoa, hoss of hoops. <laughs> ho, 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 man, I saw something hiding in the woods behind a rock or a tree. <laughs> Go look, Captain of the Guards. You did not see anything, Prince. It must have been a menage. Oh, it's me. I cannot turn the storm in the groove. What shall I do? Mm. Here, now, my lady fair, I'm the fairy godmother. I've come to... Hmm? Fear not, my lady fair, I'm the fairy godfather. <laughs> 
<laughs> All you have to do is say, hopus, pulpus, I have a redaver. Rumpa still skin will vanish from the land forever. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Harvey. <laughs> If the dudes go to a say, hope us, pop us, ever, ever, rumpus, still skin will vanish from the land forever, my darling. Okie dokie, kiss me now, and I bid you do. <laughs> to the wolf, Chucky Hop, to the wolf. You better not mess with old mean rumpus, still skin. Cops, if you do, I blow magic dubs in your face. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Look at the bucket, 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 look at the from the land forever, my darling. We will live in happy, happy land. I love you. Yeah, that's, that's funny, Dick. Thank you. That's a good chunk of material. Anybody who's ever been in a school play, that brings back fond memories. Oh. We'll do this and we'll come back uh, in just a second. What will Ozite think of next? Here's Ed to tell you. Well, you know how Ozite's been telling you to use your imagination with o out Ozite outdoor carpet? Well, Ozite has just used theirs. They have created the first outdoor carpet with colorful patterns. New Ozite Fiesta carpet, and it's made with vector fiber. Now, these aren't burn-in designs that catch and hold dirt. They're actual patterns. Brick, wrought iron and mosaic and each pattern comes in different colors so use ozite fiesta carpet to brighten up your patio your porch or your balcony and it won't rot it's not affected by mildew use it in the family room the kitchen or the bath it's made with color fast stain resistant vectra fiber just be sure it's ozite the original proven outdoor indoor carpet just look for that name on the back now where will you use ozite fiesta carpet well, like we've been saying, to use your imagination. Dick, you must have been in a school play, right? Yeah, I was, uh, To do that, you'd, yeah. you'd have to be in one sooner or later. No, I'm still scared. Yeah. Was that the Carver Community Center, actually? You know, they used to have that in the neighborhood to keep you off the streets. You know, they... Get uh, you involved in dramatics? Yeah. You, know, well, you're, you were in school plays, it had to be. Mm -hmm. I talked about this in the show, remember when my first... Tell them what your first role was. I played in the mm, second that. grade. I played a bumblebee. And yeah. what was your responsibility? Well, I, I wanted my mother made this big costume. It was yellow and black stripes. That's nice for a bumblebee. Yes, and I had these wings, these big, uh, what are, gauze? Is that the right word? These big gauze wings. And I came in through the door, and the wings got hung up on the door. <laughs> and I walked out of my wings. <laughs> you know, which did not help the play at all. No. Weren't you ever in a play? Sure. What'd sure. you play? I had, I told you I played a Dutch boy with my little wooden shoes, I had to do my dance and so forth. Here. The worst thing I had to do, I, at the junior high school, I had to read the class poem. Now that's murder. Can you, you know remember those? it? Sure. That was one of those blue suits that picked up everything, you know. You remember the poem? Sure. You're putting it on. No. How did it go? Let me but do my work from day to day, in field or forest, at my desk or room, a loom, in roaring marketplace or tranquil room. Yeah. Oh. sweet. Must have killed him. Oh, it brought down the house. Dick, where are you originally from? From New York or California? I'm from uh, Peoria, Illinois, and I live in New York, California. I live all over now. Yeah. And uh, I just, I don't know, I, I like California, though, very much. I don't, don't like care New, New York. York. No, because uh, <clears throat> New York scares me. See, uh, people in New York, like, if, and where I'm from, you can, like, you go to somebody's house, knock on the door or something, they let you in, you know. But here, they look at you through little peak holes, you know. <laughs> no, they do, they got little holes like that, and they check you out. And, and you can really blow their minds if you stand on the side of the door. You know. <laughs> and, 
Hey, and you ring a bell, and they go, who is it? You know, <laughs> boogeyman. Then you, know, you hide down. Yeah, man, they really, they really, people, and like, uh, uh, I tell my friends, you know, like getting the cabs in my home, or where I'm from, man, you just call the cab up and the cab come to your house. Here, you'd be out there waving, you know, and they just go by. And I used to think, or really, I used to think it was because I was black, right? But I found out Whitey has a hard time getting the cab. Oh, too. it's murder. Right? right. <laughs> I'm white, I'm white! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when they're on their way to the garage, forget it. They don't yeah. see anything at all. Yeah. And I don't like the subway because subway smells like everything. I mean, you know. <laughs> it does, man. It's weird down the subway. You know, and you get people, when you walk down the steps, first thing you see, right, some guy at the bottom steps, give me a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a fine class of people hanging down subway entrances for some reason. How about Peoria, Illinois? Do you, do you ever go back here? Is that your, yeah, your hometown? Yeah, I, I go home, you know, and sit around with the guy, the old wine, old cats that I used to know, you know. Really? Yeah, they tell me, yeah. The guy's like, you sit with a guy and we'll be drinking wine, like, you know, that. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> that's how they do it. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> I'll get that ringed out later. <laughs> the guy said, like, like, they saw me on Ed Sullivan. This is a real old guy. Saw me on Ed Sullivan's show. He really loved what I did. He said, I saw you on Ed Sullivan. He shook your hand. I never will forget it. Was it F. Solomon? <laughs> One of them big... Now, you're in the big time. I know you're in the big time because the guy said he liked what you did. And you stop fooling around and take care of yourself because you're going to be somebody. You got 50 cents? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Ooh, that's funny. Yeah, man. I have, I don't, we have, like, I, I used to hang out with a gang, man. You know, we called ourselves, like, the, the hippie dippies. You know, uh, not really hippie dippy. You know, it was like uh, leather jackets and stuff like that, leather pants, leather hair, you know. <laughs> we used to get our hair straight, processed hair, you know, and made us look Puerto Rican. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's easier in the Midwest, man, because the guy, I didn't know you were Spanish. Come on in. <laughs> C.C. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> see, I think I come in, yeah. yeah. So, man, we used, to, we used to do this thing. The cops, see, the, the thing is, like, you're trying to have games with the cops because there's nothing to do in a small town but play with the police. And the police don't hurt you. In a small town, they don't hurt you, you know, because they don't know much about hurting. But they don't, you know, they hit you a little bit, you know. And they used to come around and tell the guys to get off the corner, right? So, the cop would come and say, I want this corner in five minutes, fellas. I want you off of it, you understand? Mm. <laughs> and he'd leave, and while he was gone, everybody would sell whoop tickets, right? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't going no place, you okay? know? Cop gonna make me move. I pay taxes, you understand? And I'm gonna stay here all day, and I mean that. If I didn't have to go to work, I really would. Cops is wild. I remember there's a guy named Jesse who used to fight the cops, right? Jesse, big tall cat, used to fight like 30 cops, right? Because the cops would come around, all right, you kids, stop having so much fun and go home. Right? <laughs> and just say, I ain't going no place. You know, he said, we got ways to make you move. Yeah, but yeah, well, there better be some good ones. <laughs> <laughs> he was really fight, man. Poof, 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 you know, and the next day we talk about it, man. He said, Jesse, you was really tough the way you fought them 30 cops. Said, yeah, no, man. <laughs> I used to run from the cops, you know, because yeah. I, I did what I called my cool run. You know? Cool run? Yeah, because I couldn't fight, and I had a cool run. And girls are crazy about anything cool, yeah. right? Yeah. What, what's the cool run? The cool run, that's when you run like this, and the girls say, look, Rich is running. Yes, but he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> There was a guy, it was a, let me see, what was it? Uh, you ever, you ever go to, you ever go to see any of those big time uh, guys that heal people? On the big time, you know, Yeah, I mean, my grandma used to have arthritis, you know, because it was big in the 50s. And she had, you know, <laughs> and I, you know, she used to go to this guy, and the guy used to pray on her, it was really neat, right? You know, like, Let your money follow him. Go through my body and heal this woman. And I used to say to myself, right, if that guy's got any power, why don't he fix his mouth? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh. Peoria, Illinois, huh? How do your buddies take your, your, your new fame? Later? Oh, man, they, they just love me, man. I go home and they really love me because the guy, he's going to say, man, they're really, really happy for me. You know, oh. they're happy. They say, man, we never thought you'd be nothing, man. <laughs> no, and they really say, man, they're happy for me, man. That's great. I wasn't the hero of the group, you know, and they're really glad that I made it. You know? yeah. You're not married, are you? Yes, I'm well, married. Well, you are. Yeah. We haven't talked about it. Yeah, I'm oh. married. I got my wife, Shelly. Hello, baby. She's probably watching, man. It blew her mind. I said hello to her. I'm throwing this in. She's in California, right, man. We're getting a new house and stuff, you know, and furniture. And people send us gifts and stuff like that, man. Yeah, that's great. How long have you been married? I've been married now about uh, two months. Oh, you're married <laughs> right now, then. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, the first time you were on the show, you weren't married then, were you? No, I was living with a girl. So. <laughs> But you're cool. Yeah. You're cool. Oh. Oh, gee, well, that's... That's a nice, honest appraisal, I mean, you know. Lots of people do it. You're just one of the first ones I know that admitted it coast to coast. Came out and admitted it coast to coast. Oh, me. You, you plan, you're going to plan on a, a, a family? Yeah, I don't plan a family. You know, it just happens, man. <laughs> you just let it happen. It's, I'm so happy. I found a woman. You know what it's like to be... Man, women can make you feel so real, man, because I didn't feel, I never enjoyed myself, man, in all my life. So I met this woman, she made me find out things about myself I didn't know that were pretty, man. And that's she just, I just, well, I love you. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, they say success is no good if you don't have somebody to share it with. Yeah, I guess with so. yourself, it doesn't mean Failure's anything. the gas with somebody, too. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Be a great title for a book. Failure's a gas too. You, know, you got the right. You got the right girl, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do now when you're not working? What do you like to do? Uh, oh, we'll come back. We'll talk a little more. We'll have a word from your local station. We'll be right back. <laughs> Swinging, isn't it? Yeah. That band. Do you play any uh, musical instruments at all? I beat on the drums Do and you? I blow on the trumpet, but I don't play anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were uh, talking a little bit about Las Vegas. You, you know, Las Mr. Vegas, Clark Terry in your band is beautiful. He's got a thing I really love very much. I just want to tell you called Mumbles. Mumbles? Did sure. you know Peterson do? Right? Yeah, about Mumbles. It's beautiful. Wow, that's just beautiful, man. Yeah. I'm great. Great. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. I got to tell you. Oh. Sorry, I just wanted to tell you, man. No, you know what's great about you? You're, you're you're so honest. You say things, you know. Uh, not really honest, though. Really? No, I'm nice. You know, I'm nice, but I'm not honest. honest. You know, <laughs> if it chips are down, huh? yeah, you yeah, shade it a little I bit. I cop out. <laughs> How about we were talking? We were talking a little bit about Las Vegas, which is uh, you, you've worked out there, which yeah. is a strange town, isn't it? Strange. It's strange. You know what I like? <coughs> I was working at the Sands Hotel, right? And uh, I want. I read a Sammy Davis book called Yes, I Can. And he had something in there about he took a thousand dollars down. He would go down and gamble, and if he win, he'd give people hundred dollar tips. So I drew some money, man. I drew, I drew a thousand dollars, right? And I went down to play some craps, and I lost. So I drew another thousand dollars, and by the time it was over, the guy gave me a bill. When I finished my job there for twelve hundred dollars, so I ended up owing him twelve hundred dollars. You know, so I said, wow, I ain't gonna gamble no more. Cause I watched the guys; they would take thousand dollars. A thousand dollars on it, please. And they smoke the cigars, and they look cool, man. And I found out that people have a method of just to be cool, because they really go to their room and get sick after they lose their money, man. right? But they just look cool. And you see people walking around looking for money on the floor, right? And, uh, 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 uh. 
it's a wild thing, man. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You know, I, I get a great impulse when I'm in Vegas, man. I want to strip naked, man, and run through the casino nude. You know what I mean? Jump on the 21 table and yell, Blackjack! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that would tend to slow down the game a little bit right there. I mean, they go too fast, man. They count really fast. You can't keep it a guy. 18, 21, bar top from You lost. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know. Well, let's do it for 14, bar top. And you tip them. You think that'll help, you know, because I think they cheat, man. I don't believe anybody can... I know they'd be cheating, right? But they're cool about it. You know, and their face never changes. The guy don't grin or nothing, man. He just takes your money and that's it. It's a strange town out there. Yeah, wow. So you're going to build your house, now you're going to live in California. Yeah, yeah. Nice girls out there, though, right? Plenty of women. Man. You know, but you're just, married now. Yeah, but that's all right. Everything's everything, right? I mean, you just... Women, you know, I, I like women. I do. I really dig women. Everybody does, right? But I mean, it's just nice when you see, you know, like the show girls. And you're in show business, man. You get plenty of girls and stuff like that. Because I never had no contact with girls, so I got in show business. You know, I was just the girls look at me and say, oh, you know, he has pimples. That was who I was. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a station break. We'll be right back. <laughs>